buttons on this laptop, the city of Suwannee now has five permanent speed alert signs up and running. The average speeding citation in Suwannee was about 63 miles an hour in a 45 speed zone. The solar powered 24 7 signs sit on roads where police typically find the worst offenders. For instance, this one is on McGinnis Ferry. Now, usually when you see a sign like this, there's an officer around the corner or a camera where someone's going to give them a ticket. Well, the city and police insist that is not the case. They're banking on what they call voluntary compliance. People will simply want to slow down once they realize they're over the limit. But you know, it's so easy to get distracted when you're driving. Your phone is ringing. You're thinking about what, what, what's for dinner. When do I have to be at the ball field? So this is just a reminder to help folks realize what their speed is. Anytime we can do anything that relieves officer workload and then gets voluntary compliance, that's a win-win situation for the city. So the big question, will motorists slow down when they see this? I actually noticed them today and I saw people slowing down as we walked to the park earlier. So hopefully they'll work. Just like for me, it'll be like, nothing's going to slow me down. Still, Swanee is willing to give it a try. And since they track speeds on these stretches before the signs went active, they'll know in about a week if drivers really are steering toward that voluntary compliance. Duffy Dixon, 11 Alive News.